Hey all, this is Paul with Two Birds, One Stone, Backyard Gardening and Living, coming to you from the Olympic Peninsula in beautiful Washington State, Zone 8B. I'm going to finally get a update on the Atlas 80 volt brushless lithium lawnmower from Harbor Freight. Um, it's been one of my most popular videos. I'm a gardening channel. I have plants everywhere. I just want to talk about plants, but I got to get the people what they want. They want an update on the 80 volt Atlas lawnmower. And so I'm going to do this real quick. You're going to get in this video, you're going to see a revised score. Last time I gave this thing at a score out of 10, a 6.4. I've updated that score. I'm going to talk about the battery life. The battery life on this uh, lawnmower is fairly good. I have two batteries in here. And if you have a big lawn, you're going to need two batteries. The battery is the most expensive part of the lawnmower. One battery, oh geez. one battery will last about under hard load, I'd say about 20 to 25 minutes. The website, the, uh, the literature on this Atlas uh, says it lasts longer, but that's not really true under a heavy load. And I put it under heavy load. If you see my previous video, I really stretched this thing out. I cut more regularly now. That's what this thing is designed for. Designed for. It's not it's not to take down a field. That's what I discovered. That's what I was hoping for. That's why I got a 6.4. Because I was I was dreaming of something that it can't be. Durability. It's done pretty well for me. It has a built-in thermal protection. So if you give it too much, you can't break it. And that's good for clumsy oafs like me that try to break equipment all the time. So if I'm going into some thick grass, it definitely will kick off and it'll, it'll make the motor stop working and it will protect it from overloading it. Thermal protection. You can't give it more than the Briggs and Stratton, what are those, five horsepowers? Those Briggs and Strattons, like a normal lawnmower? Well, You're asking me the wrong question. <laughs> All right, so you just give it a second. Um, I, I li actually like that feature and you learn, you can actually listen to it, you can feel it out and, and you get used to how the motor, the electric motor reacts to the load that you're putting it under. So I've uh, learned how to finesse this thing and um, not have the thermal protection kick on quite as much as when I first started. So what kind of lawn is this for? Is this, for? this is for somebody with I'd say a quarter acre lawn or less that foes that mows pretty regularly. It's a pleasure to use. The damn thing's a pleasure to use, but it is not meant to take down a field. So uh, no big fields. Um, we'll give you some shots of, of what it's capable of. And if you have a bigger lawn, you're gonna want the two batteries. The two batteries make it much more useful. You can get one, you can get all your money, your, all your mowing done in one setting. So about 40 minutes of uh, of, of hardcore mowing. I think the website actually doubles it and puts you at 80 minutes of mowing. That's not true in my case. Um, okay, now here's your updated score. It's going from a 6.4 to a 6.6. .6. And you know why it's going to 6.6? 6? It's getting better for me because my little kid loves using it and it's very easy to operate. Um, self propelled, this one's self propelled. So that's a feature that makes it really nice for the little kids, which makes it fun. It's fun for him to use and it's fun for me to use. So um, that's your quick update. I've hit some things uh, with this blade and it's getting beat up. Looks like a fairly normal blade to uh, sharpen. I love my Atlas. I love my Atlas. I'm not gonna give it a 10. It's got its problems. It's not more powerful than a Briggs and Stratton uh, motor, five horsepower motor, but it is so easy to maintain. It's a great mower um, if you don't want to work on a small engine. And this guy doesn't want to spend his time working on a small engine anymore. Even though that can be fun if that's your cup of tea. But I'm into the plants. And you guys see that straw bale there? It's going to be full of tomatoes and peppers. I've got oranges going in here. Or mandarins, mandarins, grapes, marigolds. Uh, hit the like, hit the subscribe. and. It's not just about mowing your lawn, it's about growing vegetables in your lawn. So this is just a compliment to my uh, urban homestead. Thanks for watching. Two birds, one stone, backyard garden and living. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Thank you.